The political wing of Kampala Capital City Authority has been in limbo for 12 months since its last sitting on the 29th of May last year. The failure to hold meetings sparked off the impeachment process of the Kampala Lord Mayor Elia Sukwago, who some councillors accused of misconduct, abuse of office and incompetence. <laughs> The Lord Mayor has had a string of legal battles ever since his impeachment, which many observers describe as controversial. The latest case at the Supreme Court challenged an order of the Acting Chief Justice Stephen Kavma that barred Area Sukwago from performing his duties at City Hall. In the absence of the Lord Mayor, the Council has not conducted any session and is awaiting the Supreme Court ruling on Lukwago's fate. Although City Hall authorities immediately stopped paying Lukwago his salary, Councillors continue receiving their salaries. Every month, a KCCA councillor receives a retainer fee of 2 million shillings, mobilization allowance of 2.45 million shillings, sitting allowance of 200,000, and transport allowance of 100,000. Besides the sitting and transport allowances, councillors are paid a net salary of 3.1 million shillings, which has cost the authority 1.8 billion shillings over the past year. The big question is why the 34 councillors continue getting paid for no work done. No, no, no. The, the councillors are doing their usual oversight. They failed to sit because of the problems, you know. Even before the Lord Mayor was evicted by the councillors, they were not meeting. He refused to call the meetings. That's one of the reasons why they censured him. Okay? The councillors have a duty to oversee work in their, in their, in their, in their divisions. The Minister for Kampala, Frank Tumwebazi, also says that KCCA has since set up committees to run the affairs of the authority. I constituted them into working groups, okay? They supervise the budgets of the, the, the directorates. They refer to me reports. So beyond oversight, a, an elected leader has no any other job. So it's oversight in their, in their divisions, it's oversight at the central level because they supervise the directorates. But... The troubled Lord Mayor says the minister's actions are illegal. Bwana Franka Tumwebaz, where on earth do you get powers to arrogate yourself the duty of convening authority meetings to establish working group, groups, the, the, those barazas or clubs, discussion, I mean, he called them clubs or groups uh, that he decided to fragment the board of councillors into working groups, that's how we split them. And now he's facilitating them, he's giving them uh, funds and whatnot, which is illegal. But Section 79 empowers the central government through the Minister for Kampala, okay, to authorize business to continue. KCCA is a body created by the law and therefore supervised by parliament, ordered by the Attorney General. So there is no vacuum at all. The only vacuum is that the mayor had a political problem with the councillors. It's up to them really to behave politically. The KCCA Act mandates a councillor to consult the people on issues to be discussed in the authority, present views and proposals to the authority, attend sessions of the authority, appoint at least a day to meet the people, report to the electorate the decisions of the authority, and to take part in developmental activities. Lukwago argues that the authority cannot provide an accountability for paying the councillors because they are not performing their work according to the KCCA Act. A councillor is now redundant. You ask them. They are just loitering at the hall. Just coming around, pick their check, and they go away. Where is the will of the people? Because you are supposed to reflect the will of the people. What are they relaying to the people? Because you have to pass the policies first and foremost. And those policies must be implemented by the technical people. Now you are not sitting. There are no policies made by the authority. The technical people are just doing their own business. So which information are you taking to the electorate? Bernard Luiga, one of the councillors, disagrees with Rukwago's argument. So even when the mayor was, uh, uh, was available, still uh, we did not conclude uh, council business. So then it would be very unfair to blame councillors right now. For, having, uh, for being paid, we emolument is not being determined by them, so it's by the minister. Despite these arguments, Minister Frank Tumwebaze maintains that Kampala is on the road to becoming a world-class city.
SEC is operating normally. That's why work in the city is very visible. If there was maladministration at the at city hall, you would not be you would not be seeing roads being done. You would not be seeing the city getting cleaner. You would not be seeing enforcement uh, staff of the garbage collection on duty every hour, every minute. Tumoyebaze and his team are perpetuating illegalities in the sense that they are ignoring the political wing of the authority, which is mandated under the law to pass policies, which policies are supposed to be implemented by the technical wing. As the two camps await the ruling of the Supreme Court, the status quo at KCC remains the same. Councillors continue getting paid and work is going on in the absence of the Lord Mayor. Solomon Serwanja, NTV.